In other news tonight, when you go to a store and you pay for a product, you kind of expect to get what you pay for. Well, when a Memphis woman paid cash in full for some furniture, she expected to have it on the day they said it would be there. And when that didn't happen and her phone calls were unanswered, she turned to the Fox 13 problem solver, Scott Mattis. A joins us here in the studio with details. Scott. Hey, good evening, Steve. When days became weeks and weeks became months, and still Miss Foreman still didn't have her furniture that she paid for in full 60 days ago, she called the Fox 13 problem solvers, and we solved her problem. If you ever make your way to the South Memphis home of Juanita Foreman and walk inside, you might notice something is missing. It got all this space. And nothing in it. Where Juanita is standing, then sat for our interview, is exactly where a coffee table and two end tables should be. I wanted the tables to kind of match up with the furniture. So that's why I picked those tables up there nationwide. But to understand Juanita's pure frustration, we have to go back to March 17, 2007, 60 days ago, when she paid for all three pieces in full in cash to Nationwide Warehouse on Lamar. I had paid cash money for them, and I thought that surely about me paying the cash money that I would get the tables, you know, on time. Haven't got them yet. And nobody brought them to me yet. Ain't nobody called me yet. So if you're asking yourself where the furniture is, the answer might not be so simple. The sales receipt says Egypt three-piece cocktail set. Again, the price paid in full from this great-grandmother on a fixed income, $217.41. The date purchased, March 17th. The expected pickup date, March 24th. So I call. several times I called back and forth. They kept saying that the truck was coming in. But the truck never got here. Without any answers and nowhere else to turn, Juanita turned to the Fox 13 problem solvers to get answers, her peace of mind back, and her furniture. Our next step was to go to Lamar and talk to managers inside Nationwide Warehouse. I walked inside, but the same people who sold the furniture to Anita did not have any answers to where her furniture is today. Off camera, they told me they'd find it and have it express mailed to Memphis on Friday. When that didn't happen, they then said Saturday. When Saturday came to pass, we paid them another visit. Hello, Scott Mattis, Fox 13 News. Uh, you have to leave the store now. We have to leave the store now? You have to leave the store now. If not, I will push you out by the police. You got it. How's it going? Scott Mattis, Fox 13 News. Where is Juanita Foreman's furniture? They call you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> nice. Are you going to answer my question? Where's Juanita Foreman's furniture? Did you just say it's being delivered today? What time is it going to be delivered? Because you said that on Friday. After our Fox 13 problem solvers investigation, finally after 60 days and 59 nights, Tuesday, the UPS Day Delivered Package arrived. Though Nationwide does not deliver, just before 1 p.m. Tuesday afternoon, two workers hand-delivered what Juanita had been waiting entirely too long for. You got my tables here, in my floor. As promised, problem solved. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> and I thank you people very, very much. Problem solver, Channel 13, I love you. You solved my problem. Now, as we speak, Ms. Foreman is enjoying her new furniture while trying to forget the frustrations she went through before calling the Fox 13 problem solvers. Now, in a problem solvers update, if you remember last Tuesday, we highlighted the struggles of Earlene Gray, grandmother to Latarius Williams, who is living with MS. Long story short, the family did not have a ramp to get Latarius in and out of the home, as we told you, some kind hearts right here in the Mid-South said they would donate their time and money to build the Gray family a handicap ramp. And they did. This past Saturday, bright and early at 8 o'clock in the morning, more than a dozen volunteers came in force to the Gray family's Leith Street home to build the ramp. As you might be able to see, the day was extremely hot and extremely humid. But after the eight-hour day of building, the handicap ramp was finally complete. And Latarius took his first trip up and down. Thank y'all. Oh, I just want to thank everybody who made this so possible. 
Now, if you have a problem that you want solved, just give us an email or a call. You can send emails to problem solvers at myfoxmemphis.com, rather, problem solvers at myfoxmemphis.com, or you can call us here at 320-1365. Live in the studio, Scott Mattis, Fox 13 News.